Uh-huh. A lot of times we go through life young without any mentors or no OGs or no guidance, and we just make ignorant mistakes that we could have avoided if we had somebody to tell us, like, hold on, man, nah, take it easy. Don't go this way. Go that way. So, I mean, it's really like a cheat code for me, man. Like, I, it's certain brothers I hit up and reach out to when I'm getting ready to make big decisions that I know are, are going to have an effect on my life, and they'll be like, do it this way or try it this way. And just having somebody in your corner like that, man, save you so, so much time because why make the same mistakes when you can avoid the mistakes by having somebody in your corner to tell you, nah, I've been there, you know? Yep, super important. Everybody need one. I feel like everybody young on the come up, and not even necessarily young, you know, you you in a field where you don't know a lot about it. I mean, have somebody in your corner that can steer you in the right direction. Mm, mm-mm. I don't think the world is ready for who I would like to sit down and have dinner with. I'm going to keep that to myself. Um, I'm going to keep it to myself. And, uh, yeah, you, you all can try to figure that one out. But, uh, yeah, I can't wait, man, to have this opportunity to sit down with this great man. This great man. Yeah. You know, you know. Um, currently one of the greatest, strongest, most powerful black men to walk the face of the earth right now. Um, the most powerful when he make a call, the whole world comes out. Um, and yeah, man, um, great guy, divine guy, mentor, leader, teacher. And, uh, I, in my life have never, ever seen a man as powerful, as strong, as great, as knowledgeable as this individual that I have on the front of my mind right now. I believe that um, we need to have people that look like us in our community policing us. Um, and I believe they need to be trained, taught, and qualified, you know, on what it takes, you know, to deal with people of our caliber. I've had conversations with certain police officers that, that, that talk about in the academy how they're taught about us, right? And the way that they're taught about us instills fear and the person that's being trained. So when they come into the community and deal with us, they have an idea of who we are before even building with us. Oh, he's going to kill me. Oh, he's going to shoot me. Oh, it's going to be this, that, and the third. So you coming in with fear, you know, to a person that very well, you know, may not cause you no harm, don't want no smoke, don't want no problem. So I think um, one of the first things we need to do is really start to teach, train, and qualify law enforcement on how to deal with us, who we are, you know, what our history is, you know, the environments we grow up in. And um, if they can't, you know, handle working with us, dealing with us, you know, anybody that don't look like us, go police in your community, you know, go work in your community and we'll have our people trained and qualified and taught on how to deal with us. And then I feel like we'll be more safe, you know, we'll be more comfortable and uh, we can go from there. But uh, people that look like us police in our community that, that have come from the struggles that we came from, that grew up the way that we grew up, to deal with what we deal with so that they know what they're looking at. You know, a brother, you know, that may twitch or make a certain movement. We understand what it looks like. As suppo- We understand what that may be as opposed to somebody that's being taught to be afraid of us. We twitch, they go for their gun. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what I think, you know, may, may help and play a role. I believe one of the reasons we're divided is, you know, due to the lack of knowledge um, and the lack of wisdom and the lack of understanding. And because, you know, we, we don't have these things, we deal with each other on the basis of the ignorance, right? We don't know who this person is, you know, um, we don't know his history. We don't know where she came from. You know, we don't really know how to deal with each other because we've been given perceptions of one another. Um, and we go based off of that perception as opposed to sitting down and really communicating with one another to see who's who, you know, what's really going on in your mind, you know, how are you reared, how did you come up, what's really going on. And I feel like we, if we only go based off the news or go based off what somebody had to say about an individual as opposed to going and looking into it ourselves, then, I mean, we'll, we'll oftentimes be misinformed. So uh, we got to come together. We got to unite. We got to sit down. We got to have conversations with each other you know, with the intention of really understanding and making our communities a safe and decent place to live. You know, you know, this is Golden Child, and this is my interview with 24 7 the best to do it. You know, you know.